Hi all, welcome back to the model bench. Um, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I'm just waiting on some parts for my hull to arrive. So while I'm waiting on them, I'm going to just have do a little bit of work on the lifeboats. Um, so these are the lifeboats from the KA kit. And as you can see, they're lovely, very detailed. It's got the cover and the little straps. It's got a nice little detail of the cover being pulled across the boat. The only thing that it is missing though it's a little bit soft on the prow detail that goes around here and um, if i show you on the trumpeter kit you can see what i'm talking about so you can see there it's just a very distinctive kind of line just going around the edge and um, the trumpeter lifeboats are pretty nice but the only thing is they don't come with covers so you would have to I've seen you can get a photo etch cover which i don't really like and um, so you could make your own covers for these and they'd be perfectly fine and um, but i decided just to uh do a little bit of um modification on these so what i'm going to do is i've got some styrene strip um 043 by 043 and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to stick a bit around the prow and it's quite bendable so I can bend it around so I'm going to show you how I'll do that so I'm just going to run a little bit of glue just around the ship the uh, lifeboat Jesus and then I'm going to just stick this in place it's amazing how much it will just almost stay in place with very little effort. There we go. Very fiddly. So that's both sides done. Um, once the glue is uh, dry, I can just snip off the ends and do a bit of filing just to neaten up. And that's then ready for under coating. So now primer is nice and dry, really ties everything together. And it's looking good. So the next step now we can add some color to the bow. Next step now, I just um, sprayed some uh, Tamiya flat white over the whole lifeboat. So it's looking really good. I might do a little bit of a wash just to bring out the planking a little bit better. And now I'm going to move on. I'm going to paint the canvas cover and the brown kind of um, surround of the lifeboat. So now I've painted on the canvas cover and you can just see then the brown around the surround and it's looking really nice you can see this nice little detail on the canvas cover as if it's been stretched over the bow i might do a little bit of a uh, little bit of weathering detail on that just to bring those out of it a little bit and then we're nearly ready then to add the ropes around the side so looking good so here's where we're at um, canvas are all done added a little bit of a lighter color where the canvas has been pulled just to give a little bit of interest i think that, that worked out really well and painted the brown surround um, and then the little grab ropes painted them a little bit of a, a different color just to give them a little bit of interest and um, the next step then is the photo etch ropes to go around here and then obviously the decals and um, these are the colors that i've used the brown kind of surround the bro 
boat I used XF64 Tamiya um, for the actual boat colour themselves I used XF2 flat white um, and then for the canvas covers I used XF14 that's a grey and then I just lightened that with a little bit of Tamiya white just to bring out the detail on these and then for the little grab ropes I just use kind of Umbra um, or C402 and again it's just to give a little bit of a difference so now I'm going to add the photo etch ropes along the side of the lifeboat so these are very tricky to do very fiddly and um, I've already painted the grab ropes or the ropes here just painted them brown and now I'm just going to snip them off the best way to remove photo etch is just get you know a hard board or a piece of tile or something and then I'm just going to literally just snap them off or using a very sharp knife just go in and where they're attached so I have that now removed and as you can see it's so tiny it makes all the difference to the model so I find the best way to do these is to be really careful and just bend it so you're getting it kind of bent into shape of the profile of the boat so it, the more you can get that just to sit on the boat the better because if not it'll just it'll just bend up in all directions so you just have to be really careful that you don't snap it down as well obviously okay so after a while and um, I finally got into a play into a place that I'm happy enough with so what I usually do is the minute you touch this it's going to ping all over the place so I would get something like um, a stir stick or whatever just place it in the middle gently that will hopefully hold it and then just get your CA glue and remember CA glue will dry clear and just dot it into place any kind of movement it, you know it just pings up or moves around and it's horrendous so while that one while the glue sets on that one I'll just show you what I did earlier and um, it's really worth taking the time to do them because it really finishes off the lifeboat really well so that's the effect you can get and now I just have to do the other side on all 16 boats oh lord so these are the collapsible lifeboats and as you can see i've painted the covers and um, i just need to paint in these ropes and um, i tried painting them and it was just wasn't working at all so what i'm going to do is use a pen it's a, it's a 1.0 copex multi foot liner and i'm just going to draw in over the lines um, and I think that should look really good. And here we have the ropes now just drawn on. I think it's pretty good. It's a nice little effect. So that's all for now. Thanks for watching and until next time. See you then. Bye.